hello beautiful people and i welcome you all back to my youtube channel on today's video we are going to be cutting this airship gown with this side effect for those of us who have subscribed to my channel i'm saying a very big thank you to everyone and for those of us who are yet to subscribe to my channel please do so by pressing the subscribe button thank you very much my name is serumin bibiwe let's enjoy it today's video This is the fabric that I'll be working with. It's about the three trousers. You might not use up to that because it's still remaining some piece. I fold it into two. Then after that, I measured the down part I'll be working with. I used 25 inches because I'll still be removing about four inches on fold. I'm satisfied with the 25 inches. If you want it to be more than that, you can actually add. Then I measured how my my total gown length which is 58 plus one inseam allowance making it 59. After which I proceeded to mark out my back measurement which is 15 inches, 15 divided by 2 making it 7.5. I came to my chest point 8 inches then I marked that out. I'll be using pen for this kind of uh, fabric because none, none of the chucks are showing on it so you are going to bear with me. I join the line to the shoulder parts in order to shape out my ammo area. If you don't have this particular uh, set, you can just use your free hand. In order to mark out my slope, I measured out my neckline for the width, which is 3.5. Then I came down by 1 inches for the slope like this. For all the basic measurements, to my bust point, which is uh, 10.5, then to my under bust, which is 14 inches, and then to my waist. Those are the lines that I'll be marking out in order to place my accurate measurements on, because it's a princess that, and I will need those vertical measurements on it. After that, I'll mark up my nipple to my nipple measurement without adding any allowance. My nipple to my nipple is 4, so you are going to be placing exact on just your uh, under bust and your waist area down towards the end. Then I'm going to roll that out now. You are only to place your bust, nipple to nipple measurement on your under bust and the waist, then throughout the gown length, like so. On this part, I'll divide my that area into two in order to join the lines together. Then on my bust point, I'll add half inch seam allowance, making it 4.5. So that is how I'm going to join everything together. You know, those measurements we use for the down part is four. So when you come to your bust point, you are going to make it 4.5 instead of four. So at that middle point of your arm hole, you are going to join the lines together. Then after that, you are going to be going inward by 1.5. You can just mark that. We are still coming to it. Then on your under bust, the way I placed my hand just now, you are going to be going outward by 2 inches. It's just like you want to cut a princess that here. Then that 2 inches, you are going to be... It's, you start the 2 inches from your under bust, not your bust point. Then you are going to join it to your bust point like that exactly like so you are to come down by one inches like the way i did from that middle you have to come down by one inch then don't forget the one and a half we marked out the earlier time so you are going to join those lines together to meet the boss points like that I'm just trying to just make it visible because the material is kind of shaky and the chucks are not even working. So these two inches that you started from your under bust and your waist, you are going to roll it down towards the extreme end of your gown, like so. This is where you'll be placing your normal measurement, your bust divided by two. 10 plus 1 inch. We are still going to be adding extra 1 inch to the bust point, but let's hold on. 
then to your waist your waist divided by two plus plus that two inches that is in the middle plus another allowance you might use 2.5 you might use three help you get that part so the one inches we came down with at that ammo area you are going to return it to the to this part then that is when you are going to join the whole thing together coming down to my hip i'm also going to do the same thing my hip divided by four plus two inch that we are still going to remove plus another extra allowance that is how you are going to get it right so don't forget adding the two inches we are going to remove then i'm going to join it straight down to my down part like so So for that, uh, we are still going to be reshaping the ammo as well. But wait, let me cut out some part. So you remember we came in by 1.5. So we are, we are still going to reshape our ammo at that point. I'm trying to do it step by step so that we are going to get it. And we are not going to skip any part. So that is the ammo we are going to be working with. And this is what I mean by we are also going to remove that too. You know that part that I removed? It's not, we don't need it. So this is the uh, the front part. In order to cut the back part, this is what we are going to do. We are going to fold our fabric into two again. Then we are going to place uh, this uh, this front part on it. I came down by 3.5 for my neck depth as well. That's for the neck part. So in order to get the back part, we are going to place this front part on it. You are going to see how I'm going to cut it out or cut the back part out. Let us cut this first. I've already folded the bar fabric into two. As I've said earlier, we are going to use the front part in order to cut out the, the back part. This is me placing the front, the center front on it like this. Since we are not adding any zip, there's no need to add any extra, you know. And I'm going to place it on it. But the thing is, for that breast side, we are going to make sure it overlaps on the center front. I'm going to show you so you are going to get it so calm down. You know this part that I'm showing you, this part, make sure it overlaps very well because there's no breast at the back, of course, so we are not going to cut it the same way. So make sure it overlaps on the center front like this. Then you cannot trim it exactly the same way. After you are done doing that, you have to remove that place where the breast will fall. This particular side, just remove everything and leave just the center front. So I'm trying to place it like this so that we can see what I'm saying very well. Here is the center front and we are going to be cutting it's exactly so the center back and the center front sorry the center back and the center front will be of the same shape and you know so i'm going to cut it like so you can see that i place something on it so we are going to cut it For this neck part, I only came down by 1 inches. You can use 1.5 if you want. And then I'm going to cut the middle part a bit. I, will, I, will, I came down by, I think, 5 inches just for me to be able to place my either button or whatever. That is what I'm saying.
you can see. So just cut the center back and the center front the same shape, just like so. So this is what we have back. Make sure you, you know, you write something on it in order for you to not mix it up. That's for the back, back. Like I made sure that I did that to the two. And that's for the front. If you like this tutorial, I want you to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you drop a comment on that. And if you are yet to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So this is where the rope passes, I mean those stripes. So you are going to be measuring from your shoulder to your under bust. Mine is 14, then that from that 40, I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to proceed in marking another one inch interval. I'm going to mark it as well. Another one inch in three places like that, making it four plus the one from the under bust. So from your under bust, you are just going to mark another three lines. Then you are going to notch it. So that is where you are going to place in that uh, iron, this thing, what is it called? That rope, that hole that the rope will pass through. So you can see the way I'm notching it. So you are going to do the two center like that, both the front and the back. So I'm going to show you what I mean in order for you to see it very well. So this is the stripe that I'm cutting. You can just go ahead and do yours also. Just make sure you cut out more than enough in case. So those are the ones that I'll be working with and it is enough for me. So for the sleeve, I just did a... Uh, random sleeve it's nothing serious i marked out uh, because i'll still be joining at the end part so i will i and my total sleeve is 25. i marked out 20 inches initially because i'll still be adding as i've said earlier then i just used my free hand to shape that part out like so i measured my round sleeve not too tight because it's a free dress and for the down part, I use 6.5, then I join the lines together. And that's it. So for the other side, I used 5 inches. So for this part, I'll just be joining it uh, at the extreme end so i only did it the way i like it's not uh kind of any style so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up give your comment down below subscribe if you are yet to subscribe please i'm saying please it's not going to exhaust any of your data it's just the normal data you are using just press that subscribe button Thank you for always watching. I'll also be dropping the sewing tutorial of this particular dress soon. Just make sure that you help me to watch this to the end in order to reach more viewers. Thank you for always watching. I really appreciate. Bye.